Photographers, today we're talking about the behind the scenes of a rad engagement session at a hard loft in Toronto downtown, and then we're gonna take the photos, pop them into Lightroom, and show you how I edit them. Let's get started. All right, so we made it to Toronto. Vlogging with my iPhone, so excuse the shakiness. I'm gonna shake on purpose. Yeah, so we're just about to go see Amina and do an awesome engagement session in the hard loft. Are you gonna take awesome engagement photos? All right, so we're trying to go to our shoot, but we just got a random rainfall out of nowhere. Got rained on. Come on. Hey. You too. <laughs> Looking sharp, man. We're a little wet. It was uh, a little raining low. outside. Nice. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> That's okay. So. As a photographer, sometimes you want to change it up and shoot a photo shoot that's really tailored to your brand as a photographer. Sure, shooting in the park is amazing and you can get cool trees in the background, but if you really want to set a name for yourself, you got to do something a little different here and there. Whether that's being doing photo shoots in helicopters or changing it up and doing something that really connects to your target demographic. Now, don't get me wrong, if your target demographic loves shooting in the forest, keep doing that. But it's nice to change it up. So, uh, my goal is to do a couple of hard loft photo shoots last year. So I connect with this awesome couple, I'm shooting their wedding next year, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I offer them, hey guys, like, do you wanna shoot a cool shoot in a cool urban area, and then we can do a hard loft and then go downtown, like, that sounds pretty fun. So they're like, yes, Jeremy, we're totally down for that, let's do it. So essentially, we started at a cool Airbnb, and uh, check out in your area. Sometimes you can get really cheap Airbnbs for awesome prices. This one happened to be around $110 for the night. So we scooped that up. It had a swing in it. It was awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys behind the scenes of what went down in the photo shoot, kind of how I was provoking some laughter. Um, you can see the rawness of it and you can see the photos that I captured. You know, you can wrap your arms around here and you can both kind of like hold the pot a little bit. <laughs> Cause you know, this is totally how we make coffee every day, right? Okay, yeah. we, we do that all the right bit, right? Yeah, oh yes, yeah. It worked out, this is really good timing. It's like we're in here for the rain and we can go out. <laughs> now when it comes to doing photos inside, it's important to know that you're not gonna have a lot of room. Now, room is important sometimes to add movement into the photo shoot. I love movement. Movement is like the king of getting genuine laughter moments. When you get people feeling like they're just hanging out and moving around and having a good time, they're not gonna feel like it's a photo shoot. However, when you're telling them to like raise your elbows, tilt your head, they're like, man, this is the high school photos again. So I told them, hey guys, just pretend that you're getting up in the morning, you're gonna make cookies, you're gonna make a coffee, and then you're just gonna hang out and read a book. And the whole time we're just gonna talk to each other and you guys can talk to the, each other as well. And that was the best way to make it feel like it was actually like a normal day and not a photo shoot. Now for the first five to 10 minutes, I don't even take photos while we're doing the photo shoot. I'm just talking to them. I was like, hey guys, how was your Christmas? I met with you before Christmas. Like, how's the family doing? Like, I'm really getting to, to get to know them because this is probably the third time I've met them, maybe the second time. So uh, making sure you're building that relationship with your clients is key. And doing that for the first, uh, well, you do it throughout the entire photo shoot, but like just having a fun time, cracking some jokes, like getting to know each other. So then they feel super comfortable. That's more important than taking productive photos at the beginning of the photo shoot. Just making your friends feel comfortable in front of the photos, in front of the camera, that is huge. All right guys, that is all for now. If you want the preset that was used in this video, you can download it for free below. And if you have any questions at all about the photo shoot, how to get people laughing, you know, anything below, just ask them and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Um, the next video, part two of the series, I'm gonna be bringing all the photos into Lightroom and showing you how I would edit them. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Adios.